proper description on some of the things that I said in that video. So, um, essentially, and I, I felt something the moment that I did that, so I must have hit some nerves. I, I must have blew something open. So, put it this way, okay? Um, there, as you guys know, there's a high order and there's a low order, the low caste, the slave class. Um, and essentially, what the whole objective in life to sell you on using movies and other subliminal messages um, is the concept of marriage and also the concept of love. These are sort of, I wouldn't say they're false paradigms, but they're, they're, they're not what they seem to be. So, what the objective is onto the breeding class is to keep up the population no matter what. The men that have popped out that could make the difference, they wanted to curb them, and they do it every day. They do it to every guy every day. Um, the Those are the psyops that they do on real men, which tend to be brown men, and that's why most of them are locked up. So I think that's what he means. She means. Earliest known breeders in the program for FTMs, MTFs, for slave breeders happened out of the 50s in the public school system. So when you were going to school as a child, of course, you're, you're with other children, yes, but what you didn't know is that some of, the, some of these uh, boys and girls are girls and boys, like, in reverse, and it was an early form of the program um, to get rid of some of them, they would also classify the real men and the real woman as not being with them. So the early hive mind was starting to take over. Nowadays, you're you're actually called like somebody that that's discriminating if you're not accepting of the whole agenda at large. When in reality, we know how wrong it actually is, but we can't really do anything about it, right? So how I knew that I was essentially an FTM breeder was because I realized more or less kind of what my father was about. Um, I realized, like, how my mother kind of, like, I wouldn't say she played victim, but she was taken advantage of multiple times, and it's no coincidence to me, um, especially considering the fact that, you know, a real man would take care of a woman, all right, just as much as a real woman would take care of her man and so on and so forth but maybe you guys are in a similar position where you're wondering what the hell life's all about and you don't know you have no idea because like I said in the previous video you're a million dollar plaque project why is anybody going to tell you the truth they only give it to you in bits and pieces so one of the ways that the, the program sort of figures out that you're not sticking to the agenda is when they send honey pots your way. Honey pots are essentially like like RM data collection, but on another level. So basically, this data is recorded saying, okay, well, that's weird. How come uh, subject number 521 um, didn't take up offer on, uh, on agent number 656? Oh, oh, okay, you know, that's right. They're not, they're not inclined to want to breed. And they'll keep trying to figure out this data until they come to a conclusive analysis that you're not with that program and then they figure out okay you're you're you, you are a you're essentially a rogue similar to like my car i'm a rogue so as i have sort of stepped away from that all of that um life changed dramatically and i've talked to you guys about satanic ritual abuse about what i was exposed to like, I, I was exposed to porn because of people in the DOD, all right? I'm not saying every army guy out there is trying to abort the children, by the way. I'm not saying anything like that. I'm saying people in the DOD, as in DARPA, the people that created a really messed up weaponized program, were essentially trying to create a an entire race of people, or essentially really warped human beings into the little monsters that you see before you, who are just praising rainbow flags and this and that. And it's really warped. I mean, it, it is insanely warped. It's, it's, it's so warped, I don't even know what to think about it. Um, but they use a lot of things from chemicals, drugs, things that you don't know about. Um, and they feed you and try to rewire your brain a number of ways. Cocaine's usually the number one thing that they use to rewire you, by the way. Um, any, if you have ever done cocaine... Um, 
like, I don't, I don't know the approximate amount, but just enough cocaine to the point that it rewires your brain. You're usually screwed, and you're in the breeder program for life. So if you can snap out of it, you know what it's all about. Um, now, the agenda essentially is to create that androgynous for the workforce. This is the slave society that you see before you. Um, for me, I had always questioned why my talents were never highlighted, never recognized, never appreciated. It's because if they were, then I'd actually have some level of success, which is what they want to abstain from any FTM at birth, all right? It's not something that I did going to the doctors when I was 12 years old. They did this to me when I was an infant. So I know what I'm talking about. Um, and I have the scar to prove it, but obviously you can't just put that on YouTube. So with that being said, with female to male breeders, essentially they're women that are given the ability to reproduce like a man and they're supposed to go into the program thinking they're a man and then they want a life with a wife and this and that. Now, if that's all fine and dandy, but as you can see the, the, the financial disparity of what's going on, you realize that the slave mentality of what we're forced to accept as truth is what's regurgitated and forced down our throats. So, it, of course, people would say what I'm, I'm saying is crazy, but the reality, they know that that is the reality. They know that people are intentionally bred for the purpose of creating the lower caste of the society by using the breeding program as a tool and mechanism to create the people underneath. Um, and of course, I do feel a bit of pity for some of the FTMs and MTFs that couldn't quite snap out of it. And I do have some uh, advice to you guys who suspect that now that this might open up things and you were lie to pretty severely, I can offer you some alternatives on dealing with the program. So the first thing is really speaking out about the program, doing your research and trying to figure out. This wasn't really a thing that I got to explore. Instead, I, all I got to explore was how is society being ruminated by the higher order. I picked up on it in bits and pieces, but my research never really could figure out exactly who is responsible for the program that you see before you. So if I had to guess, it has to deal with Nazi eugenics. Nazi eugenics are more or less uh, pagan or Babylonian in its form, and that's as far down that hole I could go. I never got to do all my research on that subject, but I know for a fact that the, the slave race does very well exist, and most of them have absolutely no idea that the whole idea in the program, using Project Monarch as one example, is to essentially create uh, a human being that is artificially created through the power of suggestion and post-hypnotic um, hypnosis. Uh, I'm sorry, post-hypnotic suggestion and hypnosis. That's what I meant to say. I mean, they're both the same thing, really, but... Um, so I know it sounds sick. It's almost impossible to understand that that's the reality, but that is the reality because if you're a million dollar black project, if you're a 10 million black, uh, 10 million dollar black project, there's a lot of money that's being forced to keep you from that, that truth. So a lot of these folks, these, these, uh, hybrids, if you will, uh, mutated hybrids are born in a way that they're supposed to be able to create children that they're supposed to appear normal or that they have health problems. And in reality, it's really not like that. So now that people are kind of snapped out from that false reality, you know, now you can understand why you can't really get ahead, why the things that you feel might actually make sense. Like, for instance, for me, if I were to look at, like, a Hollywood <laughs> actress and I get attracted, why am I attracted? Well, if by definition they're men and I was female, of course it seems straight. But in reality, it's nothing like that because once you start trying to understand the reality of it, it doesn't make any sense. It just becomes more of a fixation to the point that once the FTM cannot have any success in life, they're taken advantage of, like severely, and then you become the bad guy all the time. Like, look at the stories in the headlines if you don't believe me. You know, you, you hear a lot about uh, some of these major figureheads, Bill Cosby, O.J. Simpson, people like this, they get thrown into prison and those guys are actors. Those quote unquote guys are actors. It's not even really happening. They're just kind of putting the truth out there for you to like actually try and understand. But it's not even like that. So 
while you're trying to understand the truth, it gets hidden from you more and more and more, but it's out there in plain sight, you see? So they, like, even though the, the people that come up with these concepts, that's that's how they create the, the seeds, the doubt. Um, and this in itself is really messed up. I mean, this, this is, if you don't agree that this is Nazi eugenics or Nazi practice, you don't understand that somebody is trying to make an enslavement force or workforce for this country that it completely works off broken ideals that actually have no foundation whatsoever. Which is ironic that it comes from a cult that acts as if they understand what a foundation really is, when in reality, they obfuscate what foundations are to begin with. All right. So, um, again, I, I hope that this isn't like too much of a mind bender for you and I'm not trying to lie to you guys I've been like really forward about the, the thoughts I've had over time and like what I come to understand is reality it's up to you if you want to take that red pill or not but you know you know that there is stuff that's wrong in this world and the people that I've read comments all right I go on video sometimes I try to understand what people are saying yeah I listen to everybody I listen to what somebody might be trying to put down and they're saying, you know, oh, these people can't come out and, and talk about this. Well, because the moment that they do, they're not going to get their promo on YouTube anymore. They're not going to get their advertisement revenue. They're not going to have the subscribers they have. They're not going to have the view counts they have. They're not going to actually be recognized as a person worth interest to anybody because they're going to be branded as nuts. All right. Because the moment that you start trying to come out about the truth, people will doubt it immediately and there's nothing you can really do about it. And even then, they have agents working in there to doubt you, and then you're en route for failure. So, if you guys don't agree with what I say, I mean, that's fine, but you know, I, I mean, I, I, it's a cliche to say it, but the writing is on the walls, alright? The people that are trying to tell you the truth are usually the ones that are kept quiet. And the ones that want you to hear the truth usually have a lot of recognition and a lot of people that tune in. Some of these folks have something that they got to say to the public, but a lot of the time, a lot of it can be misinformation, you know. Um, so I've, I've used my tool of dissemination. I've used my tool of discernment. You know, I do have the seal of God. I do have... Uh, the true third eye. I know about a lot of this stuff. I've known about it for a long time. Um, and I could tell you right now that a, a man doesn't usually, if, if you have doubts about yourself, a man doesn't usually have um, a strong sense on the, the concept of hygiene. Um, a, a man doesn't have a sense on a concept of beauty, but ideally in society it's warped in a way that you have to look a certain way you have to act a certain way you have to think a certain way i hear it in a lot of videos and advertisements all the time about how they're trying to like make you a bigger man make you a stronger man and yada 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 and you're like what is this this is a joke a real man actually talks about the truth a real woman talks about the truth and forget the fact that you're trying to be trying to better yourself i mean it's already hard enough that you're trying to survive bettering yourself is literally like an optional delusion i mean if you want to do what's right you have to understand that to create this it's done using a myriad of things this is alchemy alchemy has been explored for thousands of years you don't think there was alchemy that was being used to duplicate something like aphrodite the aphrodite effect to create the image of a female or male as a male or a female this even predates that. Loki, stories of Loki looking like a woman. This comes from Norse mythology. Even that, part of that has to do with Nazi ideals. It really does. So when a lot of like Nordic men might ascribe to somebody like Loki, for instance, you have to really think about why are you ascribing to the god of trickery? And what does that say about your life? So as you can see, these subjective ties all correlate to something. 